Well, we've got two light bulbs that are out on the pilot. So today I thought it would be a good time to go over our current LED lighting setups here. Um, some of the information is a little bit controversial. I know a lot of people don't prefer the plug and play LED headlights, but I want to report that on the uh, 2006 to 2008 projector headlights, it's really not that bad. I've got some night footage that I'm going to show, but to start out with, I wanted to talk about uh, all of my lighting and maybe show you guys how I'm going to replace uh, some of the bulbs here. All right, turning to the front of the car, um, I wanted to highlight first my aftermarket headlight assemblies. Um, as far as wear and tear goes, they do seem like they're already peeling. The clear coat is already peeling off of them. Uh, you can see right here. So they'll probably begin to start getting yellow and uh, not looking so great here. Um, I guess in the future, if I was going to replace them again, I might put my own like 2K clear coat on top um, to try to make that clear coat last a little longer. Um, as you guys are all aware, my bumper is also peeling right now. I'm working on some sort of plan in the future to try to aesthetically fix that. Aesthetic repairs and aesthetic uh, kind of cosmetic issues aren't super high on my list of things to worry about. Um, obviously, it'd be cool to fix that and the, the headliner that's also falling down. Um, we've got two sponsors at this point for the channel. Um, you know, people who send us products to review, I consider them kind of like sponsors. Um, I'm never going to give you an unbiased or a biased opinion. So um, even though they give them to me for free, I am just going to tell you about them. So we've got our Vic Off-Road Light Fox uh, single series, uh, I think it's the Rigel series light bar. We've got that on the front and the back. They were the first company to kind of reach out to us. Um, that light bar is crazy bright. Um, it, I think, is a good fit. It's a 40 inch on the front, and I believe it's 24 on the back. That being said, the back light bar uh, did leak. We had the roof roof bar uh, or the roof basket off with the light bar still attached, and we had it upside down, which I don't think should matter and there was water intrusion uh, leaving it like that for a couple weeks uh, in the backyard. I was able to take it apart, let it dry out, and I only lost uh, four LED um, little you know, lights inside there, uh, but I do think it's worth noting. Our yeah. second channel partner is Basla. They reached out to me on Instagram and sent me an H11 bulb plug and play LED to test out. Um, I, I have my Amazon store link below and you can, you can, uh, see the exact model I'm talking about in, on my page. Um, but this is the projector bulb that I'm talking about or lens. Uh, you can see that this pilot, it's low beam is focused with a lens. And I think that's what makes this 2006 to 2008 kind of series of Honda pilot pretty compatible with these plug and play LEDs. The beam is not like the best. There's, you know, some shadows in it. But as far as the cutoff goes, it's pretty good. Um, I've driven behind or with the pilot behind me with my Civic, and it's not blinding us or blinding me to any ridiculous degree. The most important thing is when you upgrade your headlights to LED bulbs, you got to consider uh, refocusing and retuning your headlights, making sure they're pointing at the right height. Um, you might need to lower them a little bit. For me, the cutoff has always been pretty good. Um, so I, I've not had to adjust it very much at all. Uh, so those are the two sponsors we have. Um, I'll keep you posted uh, maybe in other videos um, about the performance. I will say the Bosla H11 right now um, is probably the brightest of the LED plug and play bulbs that I've had, uh, which is good because that's pretty much what I'm after. I want the brightest light I can get out of there. Um, and that's going to help me see at night. When you combine that with the H11 plug and play bulbs that we have in our fog lights, um, I have a lot of really good light coming out of the pilot um, that really helps me drive at night. I prefer driving at night with my pilot way better than all of the, you know, the CRV we have and the Civic with the halogen bulbs. It's night and day difference um, between the two. One, th one thing to note is that with the fog lights, um, I've found that it's best to pick a, an LED light that has no fan. This light down here tends to get submerged underwater sometimes when you're off-roading, um, and the fan ends up getting busted and starting to starts making noise or stops, and then the bulb itself kind of breaks. So that's something to note. Um, I've got a link 
to a pretty good uh, plug and play bulb on my store if you want to check that out in the link below. Um, we have just a cheap generic uh, plug and play high beam bulb in here. Uh, you can kind of see it popping out right there. Uh, it's bright. It, it does great. It's a 905, 9005 plug and play LED. Um, and on our uh, Driving light here, uh, that's a 168 or a 194. Um, they have the same kind of T10 base. And we're going to upgrade or uh, fix one of them today. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like, how to do that. On the back, uh, I've upgraded my backup tail light. Uh, you can actually see it really clear um, what it looks like. This was a huge improvement for me. I've got my LED light bar up there that also helps me back up when I'm off road and, and stuff. But for the average person that doesn't want to wire an LED bar up there, this is going to be a huge upgrade. You're going to really appreciate it every time you decide to back up. Um, other than that, the taillights are all stock, just halogen bulbs, and um, they've been working really well. I'm going to replace, I think this one right here is burnt out. I can actually see down in there. Yep, it's, it's definitely burnt out. So I'm going to replace the uh, driving light up here and then uh, the tail light in the back and then we'll cut over to the nighttime footage showing you uh, what it all looks like. Um, I show off my full bright you know, uh, headlights with the, uh, the light bar but also just show you the different beam patterns that I'm getting um, and with or without the fog lights. So in the front I'm going to be replacing the bulb with this 168 super bright LED from Sylvania. I'm curious to see what it looks like compared to the ones I had before. I'll pull out the other bulb uh, so we can take a look at it. It's a simple twist and pull. So this is the previous style that I got here. A little can bus. We'll see what it looks like comparing them to the uh, Sylvania bulbs here. Definitely, definitely a different build here. The Sylvania one's covered. Oh, I can kind of see it there. I'm kind of tempted to try to remove the cover, but we'll just put it right back in. Yeah, I would definitely say that uh, this style is not as bright as this previous style. So I'll probably end up upgrading, uh, picking another one of these uh, 168 bulbs off of Amazon. Um, I believe I have a brighter set actually in my Amazon store already. So I'll probably end up just purchasing those to install in here. But I like my running lights to just be as bright as possible. So we can see in there what the Sylvania one looks like. And then over here... You know, it might not be all that much brighter, so maybe we'll still roll with it, kind of take a look at it. So I'm going to move on to the back now and replace the uh, taillight bulb. I think it just requires a 10 millimeter socket or a Phillips head screwdriver. So it's as simple as popping or unscrewing these and popping out the uh, taillight assembly. You can see the, the bulbs out down there. Man, I got to change that decal in the back since our name changed. All right, so I wasn't able to get the brake light assembly off. Um, I don't have my socket set with me, and the uh, Phillips head screwdriver was not an it didn't give me enough torque to get it loose. Someone screwed it on too tight last time. But that being said, we're going to skip ahead uh, over to our nighttime light shot footage. This is what my headlights look like in the front. As you can see, my uh, fog lights are definitely very functional. Um, they add a lot of light to the pilot, and this is before I install the new driving light slash corner light, but you can see right here that bulb's out. When you have a LED installed in the running light, I think it adds a little bit of useful light, which is good. This is what the cutoff looks like on the pilot. Those projectors do, in my opinion, a pretty good job um, making a nice cutoff. I will say with the LED bulbs, there are some 
um, potent, like kind of dark spots kind of in the pattern in the mix. So I'm not saying they have the best quality ever, but I do like them better than the previous halogen bulbs that it, it came with stock. I like the white light um, and the brightness. And this is with the fog lights on, so you can see uh, how much light they add to the mix. So that's without the fog lights, with the fog lights. One thing I really like about having the fog lights is how much farther I can see to the side while I'm turning. That I notice um, when I'm making right-hand turns, it's, it's huge, it makes a really big difference. Let's turn the high beams on here. So the high beams I have are just cheap plug and plays from uh, Amazon. To be honest, I don't use them all that much um, where I drive around. Um, that being said, um, they're a nice, you know, bright light as well. I use my low beams a lot and you can see the pattern's good, but not perfect. That's with the fog light. And next we can turn on my LED bar so you guys can see how bright that is. And this has a, a nice wide beam as well. So definitely love having that when it's really dark and you need to light up the trail. Next, I'd like to show the backup lights and how bright they are. Next, I'm going to show you from here the um, back backwards facing LED bar we've got. It makes a huge difference. If you're backing up and need to back up to a trailer or anything like that, these light bars make a really big difference. So if you haven't uh, upgraded your, L your uh, lights on your Honda Pilot to LED, um, I recommend it. I, I think it's worth the upgrade. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Hope you guys found this, this video informational. And I'm looking forward uh, to posting more how-to videos and uh, featuring a little bit more of the modifications I've made. I'm definitely planning on doing a lift recommendation video where I go over how my pilot's lifted and maybe how I would do it in the future or if I was starting out. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we're going to uh, definitely get some more adventures underway. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless. Oh, uh, let's see here. First of all, these are our normal just running lights, which are just LED plug and play lights. So we've got our, these are just our high beams here. And they're pretty bright too. Um, they're just plug and play LEDs as well. But here's the moment of truth. Let's see how much the trail gets lit up with our new light bar. Yeah, it's pretty bright. So this is without the light bar. And that is with the light bar. Yeah, that's Wow. Incredible. That's pretty crazy. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we can find our friends. We will, but this is the this is the clay climb. I know. Maybe they ended up where I said to be, even though they said that they didn't. You know? Yeah, or maybe we went down the wrong or up the wrong trail. Yeah. I know. I saw or that. Or maybe was... you had to go down the Pretty trail tight. that was going this way. Well, our Is mud trains that? mud trains are not gonna get a good workout Is this time. That? Everything's bone no, dry. Oh, or not. They're just gonna go right through there. Okay. Let's follow them. Yep. They knew where Andrew and Whitney are. Sure. I wonder if I need to turn off my lights. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn off your big lights on top. <sighs> right? Do you have your big lights on so far? Yeah, is it? I don't know what protocol is. I don't know what courtes you common courtesy boy. is. Um, I kind of wanted to keep up with these guys though. We are squeaky, I can hear it. <laughs> Got a little bit. What if it's just the car's parts? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
here we go. Ooh. This is a shaggy That's looking kind of gnarly. Yeah, last time we went through the ruts. Today I'm straddling it because it's not wet. Right. turn my lights back on. Okay. It's amazing how big of a difference they make. It's like night and day. Huh? It's like night and day. <laughs> now I'm pretty sure we're uh oh, oh. okay. <laughs> Nut check. Nut check. Something like that. It's like day and day. This is them for sure. Put your blocking hairs off. You got Turn. it on? Yep. Hey guys! We made it! We made it! <laughs> <laughs> whoop whoop!